Hypothesis testing for variance and standard deviation using a p-value. It's a chi-square test, and we're going to use StatCrunch to calculate the p-value. Our problem is stated as follows. A travel analyst claims that the standard deviation of the room rates for two adults at three-star hotels in Denver is at least $68. A random sample of 18 three-star hotels has a standard deviation of $40. At alpha equals 0 0.01, is there enough evidence to reject the claim? Use the p-value method to perform the hypothesis test. Well, in this case, we're not going to need to use a chi-square table. We're just going to go ahead and first flush this out, and then we'll talk about using technology, i.e. stack crunch, to calculate the p-value and then we will decide whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So first off, let's start with the claim. And we know that the claim is given right here. The claim is the standard deviation of the room rates for two adults at three-star hotels in Denver is at least $68 at least is going to be a greater than or equal to. Now remember, the null hypothesis is always a statement of equality. So that means our null hypothesis is going to have the claim. So we can simply state that the null hypothesis is sigma greater than or equal to 68. This will be the claim, as I said. Our alternative hypothesis is a statement of inequality and it will be based directly upon the statement of equality from the null and it will be simply that sigma is less than 68. So now we need to go ahead and calculate our test statistic. We're going to use the following formula which means that we have to make sure that we have all the information needed. So the test statistic is simply the chi-squared equal to n minus 1, which also happens to be our degrees of freedom, times the sample standard deviation squared, or in other words, the sample variance, over the sample, I mean population standard deviation squared, or the population variance, which means that we need some information here. First off, what is n? n is equal to 18 because we sampled 18 three-star hotels which means that our degrees of freedom will be 17 because we're simply going to subtract 1 from 18. We know that sigma will be 68 because that's what's given to us right here and it is a standard deviation and therefore S, which is going to be our sample standard deviation, is going to come from the sample. It has a standard deviation of $40. So S is equal to 40. So we're going to plug these three numbers into our formula and then we will calculate. So this is going to be equal to 17 times 40 squared divided by 68 squared. Go ahead and punch that into a calculator, and you will get approximately 5.88. This is going to be our test statistic, and this is what we're going to use in StatCrunch. So go ahead and open StatCrunch. And you can open that from any problem that you're working. And we're going to go to Stat. We're going to, let, we're going to put our mouse over the down arrow. We're going to go to calculators and we're going to scroll down to chi-square. Left click that and we have a pop-up window. The pop-up window is going to allow us to do either a standard left, uh, left to the left or to the right, left tail or right tail test, or a two-tailed test. In this particular case, we're going to be doing a left tail test. So what we need to do is take our information that we've calculated and you'll notice in this, there we go, we're given a space for degrees of freedom, which in this case is 17, so we type that in. 
Now we can adjust this to a left tail to right tail test. This is going to be a left tail test because we are looking at the alternative hy alternate hypothesis of less than 68. And so what we're going to do is we will go ahead and we put our test statistic right here, which is 5.88, and then we compute. This right here is our p-value. You'll also notice right here where the mouse cursor is that we have a very small area to the left. So let's look at our p-value. And we're going to go ahead and say, okay, p-value. And remember, this is the area that's going to be left of the chi-square test. Or I should say the chi-square value, sorry. Which is equal to 5.88. And that's going to be equal to the value that we had come up with. I'm going to round it to four decimal places, 0 0.0060. And then we're going to compare that to our alpha. If we look at, this is, remember, p-value. And our alpha is at 0 0.01. It's obvious that our p-value is less than our alpha and if that's the case we will reject the null hypothesis